In November 1915, in occupied Paris, peace has been signed between the remains of the French Republic and the German Empire. The British entry into the war late uh, in the late stages has not prevented the collapse of the French forces and uh, there is a considerable amount of political influence that we are now holding over France and her colonies as well as northern France which will be permanently occupied by German forces. Meanwhile negotiations continue with the Soviet Union and there is an uneasy ceasefire with uh, small minor infractions into Belarus but uh, German troops in the winter are thoroughly bogged down in the swamps and mud. No larger advances are going to be made anytime soon. The high seas fleet is still embroiled in attempting to support the invasion of Amsterdam and trying to force the Netherlands governments to surrender, while the uh, the the civil uh, the a group of German destroyers making sure that uh, no British sneakiness happens towards the high sea fleet in the, in the channel have uh, encountered the Zealandia, a British Mars class battleship and uh, we are going to have to engage because uh, she might be threatening the invasion and the high seas fleet at the horizon although with a single battleship it's not a huge chance but the government doesn't want to take any chances here and has asked us to ensure that no British capital ships can get close to the high seas fleet. And we have spotted the enemy battleship on the horizon so I am actually I am actually interested in splitting this off into uh, can I not split that off into two oh, it seems I can't detach there we go and this this one also detach and this one detach and then we can get the uh, where are they there so this destroyer and that one and these two okay so we got two battle lines because I'm more interested in there she is I'm not sure she's seen us yet but uh, we'll, s we'll switch off the torpedoes for both I'm more interested in getting uh, getting two lines going we've got two X classes and we've got two Y class no uh, one Y class and an X class the Y's are having a significantly more powerful torpedo loadout and uh, I would like to have some form of some form of pincer move gear going to make sure that she can't avoid the torpedoes. So we'll we'll try to split the troop the division into two, and each destroyer group is going to take one side. We'll see where she's going, and if we can if we can manage to uh, to to make a sort of pincer movement here towards that British battleship. Although if if this we have to be very careful. Reports of the loss of an X-class destroyer in recent engagements is, have not gone unnoticed and she has spotted the destroyers so we'll immediately start smoking up with that group while they are under fire as we haven't really uh, it really it really we have to really be just be lucky every time they only need to get lucky once so for now the second group is doing the spotting well, the first group is doing the spotting, second group is going for, an ass for the attack. Uh, is she turning? I believe she might be turning. Yes, I think she is turning to, to avoid. So let's get the second group already in, in line here. Okay, uh, first group is now coming under fire. So smoke up as well to throw off their aim. We're not trying to gun her down. We're just trying to throw off the uh, throw off the gunnery of this thing. Ah, yeah, these are already getting unpleasantly close. So, full steam ahead. Uh, battle speed 33 knots. And if she is turning away, we should be on an intercept course with the first group uh, coming in on the other side here. Okay, is she turning again? Is she turning to port? I'm not sure at this stage. But we are getting reasonably close here. I'm just waiting to see how she's going to react if they're if they're going to turn to port or if they are going to stay the course. Uh, it takes one good one good hit from a from a large 
from a large caliber shell from these things to end one of our destroyers. But uh, I think we're not close enough yet to launch the torpedo successfully. I think she is now in the turn. So that's good. Is she? Yeah, I think she is in the turn. So we want to make sure that she completes that turn before we launch the torpedoes, which means the first group is going to uh, it's going to stay the course and it's going to launch torpedoes afterwards once she's completed the turn because she's not going to have a chance to, to to shift the rudder around. Or are they not turning? No, she isn't turning. Okay, I think I'm going to start launching to... Oh, she is launching her own torpedoes, that's why. Okay, so evade the torpedo and uh, uh, launch the torpedoes on our side. Let's get the torpedoes away and uh, we are peppering her with with high explosive shells at this point i think she has lost a lot of speed from that turn so let's get the ships turn let's get the ships turned around and first group is coming in from the other side in case uh, she, they need to finish her off so hopefully hopefully we can manage to turn over launch the torpedoes and then just get out of there while the second group is uh, the first group is coming in from the other side and is going to try to finish her off that is the dangerous part yep that's exactly what's why it's so dangerous because one hit uh, is blowing off half a destroyer from these from these guns now she might she is in the full turn she might be able to avoid these torpedoes but that's why i've got that's what i've got first group for because first group is going to is going to sail on is going to sail on by and then she has lost all her speed is she taking any of the torpedoes i sh think she's avoiding the torpedoes but i don't think she's going to be able to get the rudder shifted around in time now i would have liked first group to be a little bit more ahead but uh, once you have a solution please launch the torpedoes so we'll sail straight past uh, especially y19 has a lot of torpedoes and we might be able to we might be able to take her out with okay yeah x38 has lost her has lost rudder control uh there is an incoming torpedo uh that we might not be able to avoid honestly let's see uh y19 has launched her own torpedoes but uh, okay just keep the state of course maybe you can outrun it i think we've outrun it yes but Y19 has taken significant damage from, from this. Uh, the big question is, can we get torpedoes, or can she get the torpedoes in, uh, on target in return? And I think the answer is yes, she's gotten definitely some torpedoes hit, torpedo hits in. But uh, Y19, uh, Y19 needs to retreat, actually. Uh, we, have lost, we have lost X30. X38 doesn't look good. Uh, we're gonna get everyone to retreat I think uh, yes we are gonna get everyone to uh, to retreat she has taken uh, she is sinking she is sinking she's taken su su a sufficient amount of water but uh, there's not been an easy fight uh, definitely losing one destroyer uh, one destroyer for a battleship is a good trade but still uh, that that was all due to the heroics of Y19 and her and her torpedo at her torpedo run. Yeah, losses we are taking. We need faster destroyers. 33 knots is definitely not fast enough anymore. And in the second engagement of the day, a Japanese task force has made their way to the North Sea. They have been sailing the long way around. Uh, we are facing, by the looks of it, uh, the Asashi. A heavy cruiser uh, and two destroyers and they are engaging well <laughs> the high seas fleet <laughs> uh, i would call that a proper kamikaze attack but uh, let's see what the japanese have in their desperation to help their allies preventing our invasion of the netherlands and maybe trying to find some form of victory against the german empire in the north sea and yes, they are literally engaging the high seas fleet. All of it. <laughs> well, technically not all of it, 
but uh, they are definitely engaging the majority of it. And I'm going to have to organize this a little bit because that is going to be one chaotic battle otherwise. All right, so we've got the the Sachsen, the Hessen, the Mackensen and the Moltke and the Deflinger in a battle line. I think the Mackensen is, we haven't actually seen those in action yet. Uh, these have uh, these have 12 main guns, but uh, a little bit weaker armored, so these are more for long range engagements. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, destroyers, I'm going to give these under AI control for battle line. Uh, that's another another destroyer group. Uh, same thing, I'm going to put these under AA control. I've got uh, some destroyers, some V-class destroyers on screening duty that I'm okay with. And I've got the heavy cruisers on screening duty as well. And I think that's not necessarily uh, something... Eh, I think it'll be fine. And we've got, yeah, we've got all the heavy cruisers on screening duty. We've got six heavy cruisers, five battle cruisers, and the rest is is just destroyers. Uh, why do we have one Y-class destroyer on screening duty? I am not sure. Uh, she can just be on that destroyer division. There we go. So now we've got, uh, we've got a large screening group and we've got the main group and we've got the destroyer groups uh, independently operating. All right then. Okay, we have sighted the enemy and that is probably the enemy battleship or battle cruiser. Uh, definitely Japanese flying the right kind of flag. We've got lots of guns on this thing, but I think mostly somewhat on the secondary front. So let's see how that ends up going. Most certainly, we're going to start and actually turning the battle line to in to get all our guns on target. Because if these battle cruisers, especially the uh, the Mackensen and the Moltke, can get their guns on target, that is going to be very, very rough very, very quickly. These things have a lot of guns. I think the sheer amount of shell splashes that's going to come down here is actually going to be making it harder for us to target her. But uh, we will see. Uh, she is definitely re uh, engaging and returning fire. I don't know yet where the rest of the Japanese fleet is. So far we've only spotted this one. But um, we're getting the battle line. Oh, there's something else. What are we there? That would be uh, some form of armored cruiser. Okay, so I think we're on a good course, uh, Sachsen leading the charge here, and I think we've got first blood, we have a penetrating hit, we've landed a penetrating hit on this thing somewhere, I don't have any, uh, any intel just yet, but uh, with the sheer amount of fire that is unsurprising, and I really want to see what that looks like when these guys open up. Second group has somewhat disengaged here. Uh, the destroyers leading the charge coming in from the other side. Uh, I am not controlling these. I am just looking after the battle cruisers at this point. I mean, we have such a numerical superiority that it's relatively unlikely that uh, <laughs> that we will run into any kind of trouble. But I would love to see a couple of good hits on that on that battle cruiser or battleship. I'm not sure what it was. Because right now most of the fire is still ranging and getting the fleet to, uh, comp to engage effectively is going to be interesting. We are at 9 kilometers now and I think the battle cruiser should have the range at this point. Uh, destroyers coming in from the rear. There is a single destroyer, the X-36, which I think it might be on screening duty. Uh, yeah, there are two destroyers here just on screening duty. I just hope they're not they're not sending any torpedoes into uh, into our own ship. But uh, we've got 
the, the cruiser and that battleship is starting to take a lot of fire. Uh, that was one of the casemates going up in flames, I think. And she's got she's got the whole line of uh, Germ the whole German battle cruiser group uh, shooting at her. So I think that's a bit of a foregone conclusion, really. There. The Sachsen has closed into under seven kilometers. And I would still love for the first group to please keep targeting that battleship. And she's now in very effective gun range. The Mackensen and Moltke have uh, slightly larger caliber guns. And I'm not sure what these screening destroyers are up to here. But uh, <laughs> with, that mu with that much shipping in the area, uh, we will have to be a little careful not to actually run into each other or hit each other with torpedoes. But uh, the Sachsen's, the Sachsen's uh, 305s are still very much capable, should still ver be very much capable of dealing with problems. There was a torpedo somewhere, I think. Uh, I think the destroyer group has been torpedoed. And they're all turning to evade. Uh, hopefully they can do that successfully. I am not managing all the destroyers because right now the uh, Asash, uh, Asahi is starting to take damage and under the withering fire of the whole battle cruiser group i don't think she's gonna last very long yeah i think she's about dead in the water at this point and i'll just have to make sure that we're not taking any damage in return because you know we're busy invading the netherlands you can't be dealing with these things let's keep closing the angle because i think she is turning away and uh Keep the keep the pressure on. Yeah, she is definitely turning away. Let's keep the pressure on and make sure that thing doesn't go back. And I think once once we've got that one out of the way, the uh, what do we have here? Oh, that's the there the, are the destroyers as well, right? Uh, the screening forces can deal with those. Uh, the battle the battle line of the battle cruisers uh, the battle cruiser line is taking is focusing on the Asai and making sure that uh, we get that under control. Yeah, the flanking destroyer, destroyer group uh, has been somewhat uh, somewhat scattered from the defensive torpedoes that the Japanese have fired. So let's just keep adjusting our... I think we might have to uh, start, l start uh, focusing the secondaries on the destroyers. I'm not sure if there are any more torpedoes coming in, but uh, let's start start uh, focusing the secondary guns on the destroyers while maintaining main gu main battery fire on the SI. And uh, they have nowhere to go. We've also still got that heavy the Yakumo out there, and these two things. Uh, that one is already flooding significantly and taking fire from the rear. The heavy cruisers are back there, and we've got the battle cruiser line shooting from this direction. Okay, and close close the range even further. Not sure what that thing is actually having on main guns. Uh, 230. Okay, yeah. Not. I don't think that she's actually dangerous. Okay, whatever it was, one of the destroyers is going down. And I think the Sachsen is now closing into uh, to to a ranges where uh, where we can e where we we can be effective with all kind of guns. And we've still got that destroyer there. I'm not sure if she still has torpedoes, but uh, the secondaries of the battle cruiser line can definitely take that one on. And then we'll just run down the rest. Seems to be reasonably well armored that thing. Oh, look at that poor destroyer. Is that a destroyer? Even though it was at a light cruiser. Uh, that looks more like a destroyer to me. Not sure if she's going in for a suicidal torpedo run, but uh, she's certainly coming under a hail of gunfire. Why am I not? Why am I not being so lucky when, I, when I'm sailing destroyers, and uh, I generally get blown out of the water in in, in no time whatsoever. And these guys can just pass, can just make a leisurely pass in front of all my secondaries and uh, not really <laughs> not really take any damage. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to talk. Yep. 
and that's the 150s actually, 150 mi millimeter secondaries from the battle cruiser line. Uh, yeah, there come some torpedoes. That's why I had uh, and the uh, light cruiser is gone. Uh, if that was a light cruiser, could have been a very light cruiser. Uh, the Asahi is surprisingly still up and swimming, but uh, yeah, that's not going to be the case any longer. The two destroy uh, destroyers and or light cruisers are are down. We'll start focusing the secondaries already on the Yakumo. And we've got Mackensen and Moltke having, I think, all of their guns now on target. All steaming at 27, at 27 knots. <laughs> There's so much smoke in the air, I don't think we can even see anything happening. The destroyers are closing in from the other side. There's the... Uh, these are under AI control, so I, I'm not actually running those, but we have uh, one of the Y-class destroyers back there um, has launched torpedoes, and uh, some of these might uh, one of these might actually hit this one. Uh, let's see if uh, let's see if that's a dud or if she can actually manage to get the torpedoes on target. Ah, it's actually two two torpedoes there, and one dud. Uh, one, t one dud, one explosion. We do have to be a little careful that we're not running into our own torpedoes here, because that was a, a lot of torpedoes. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, we are certainly in danger of running into our own to to torpedoes here from that. Um, might have been better to not let the I AI control the destroyers, but uh, let's make a sharp turn with the Sachsen and see if we can thread the needle there when it comes to not taking our own torpedoes. Uh, I'm going to reverse engines here and uh, and see if we can if we can get past these. Uh, yeah, that's going to give some engine damage. Oop, there are some torpedoes in the water and I think these might be even be our own torpedoes. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. Can she stop in time to avoid... Yes, Sachsen has threaded the needle. And Hessen, 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 come on, come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Emergency stop. Okay, one dud torpedo. Whew. Yep, these were definitely friendly torpedoes. So, um, yeah, after, okay, n stop, uh, stop reversing. Uh, and <laughs> now we've, we've got the whole line more or less uh, stationary at this point, having to having to avoid the fire from a somewhat over eager uh, from a somewhat over-eager Y-class destroyer. Uh, hopefully they can now start uh, start building up a little bit of steam again. And uh, let's get the guns onto that heavy cruiser. Can we finish it off maybe? While the rest is trying to sink. Uh, the, I think the SI is about to go down. So let's just finish the big guns on the heavy cruiser. And I don't know if she's got torpedoes away, but uh, We've certainly changed our... Yep, there come the torpedo. There comes the torpedo, and these are Japanese torpedoes. Um, just drop speed, uh, full stop. I don't know if we can still come to a stop or if we if we have any chance about that, but I don't think the Sachsen is able to to do any kind of mm, hard maneuvers at this point. We'll, we'll turn hard to port. And we will try to avoid these torpedoes. Hopefully they're not quite as powerful as our own torpedoes. But uh, in fact, I think it'd actually be better to build up steam here. Uh, yeah, it probably would have been better with the Sachsen to build up steam, but then the Hessen would have would have taken them. Uh, can she avoid it? Okay, she took one torpedo, uh, and it's got some flooding in the rear, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, let's. Uh, okay, Yakumo is down, so now it's just a matter of finning off, finishing off the uh, Asai, which I think is dead in the water. Yeah, in, in engagements like this, uh, friendly destroyers are actually the bigger threat than enemies. Uh, it's, it's just because of the number of torpedoes that uh, that is being sent out. Okay, Hessen has, I think, rudder problems and has take might have taken a torpedo as well somewhere. Uh, she is lightly flooding. So we will uh, detach Hessen and get her to get her to retreat. Please try not to ram Derflinger if you can. Uh, Sachsen is flooding, but it is under control. 
uh, rudder rudder midships and uh, f please try to finish off that uh, relatively resilient Japanese battleship. I mean, we've we've got a we've got a hundred percent hit chance. Oh, yep, I would say. Um, Oh, we've, we've got more torpedoes incoming. That's why she exploded so catastrophically. Uh, at least they were not aimed at us this time. Yep, she's sinking due to structural damage. And I think that was it. Uh, lots of uh, surprising amount of damage to the friendly fleet. Some of it inflicted uh, by our own doing. But uh, an overwhelming victory for the German high seas fleet. Most of the battle damage has been repaired with emergency patches while we are continuing to support the invasion of the Netherlands. Three more months is the estimate for the continuation of this. And we will see if, uh, if the Dutch government capitulates or if the German, uh, if the German public will uh, demand an end to the invasion before that happens. In the east, uh, not much, n no progress is being made with just minor skirmishes around the borders of Belarus while we are still negotiating with the Soviet Union for an end of hostilities.